all right guys so today we're going to be jumping back into the black swan world boss legend boss fight using a full team of combat characters and just like yesterday we're going to be using my secondary card set so we're going to try them out with zero percent pierce and see how they perform obviously you shouldn't be playing this boss fight with zero percent pierce but since my main card set is really really op I figured I'll give you guys a look at some of the better, maybe the best combat characters to use here against Black Swan in case you guys are considering who you should tier for next because Black Swan is a speed type so combat characters do significantly better against her than other typings, especially this guy right here. Okay, Dr. Octopus is a sleeper. I might even tier for him on my free to play account if Black Swan becomes something I play on a daily basis because not only is his artifact really, really good because it gives him 15% extra damage to aliens. Black Swan is an alien. He's a combat type and he is really, really powerful, especially if you just start spamming your skills because of his tier four buff that refreshes his skills on a four second cooldown. It's just absolutely amazing to watch this guy get to work anyways let's jump in let me show you guys these three characters in action and if you have anybody else you want to see beat down on black swan let me know in the comments let's get it starting off with gladiator just because he's the most recent combat tier four in my roster i figured if i'm gonna do a combat session i have no choice but to include him but i gotta be honest i don't think y'all need him if you don't play abx you can go without him and just go ahead and eat through that shield. Go ahead and pop the tier four. And then get off some damage. I will say, because he has the auto heal and he's so tanky, he's not a bad option for this fight. Because not only is she going to do less damage against him because he's combat type, he's also natively very tanky because of all the defenses and stuff that he has built in. and punch her guts out oh for some reason my uh this skill didn't go off there i'll take the hit doesn't really matter that's the tankiness showing itself there what i'm thinking about is ooh. Um, well, no, nah, I'm not going to throw out a tier 4. It doesn't make sense. Because she's just going to get up at 30 anyways and put on the instinct shield and cutscene. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to save your most powerful attack for the next phase because unless you're doing like a lot of damage really, really quickly, it doesn't make sense sometimes. Okay. I'm going to let her do that because I want to get off a tier 4, tier 3 combination rotation against her. Mm, I was trying to set things up better than that, but unfortunately it did not work out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. You copied my laser move. She literally copied that year. I Deem attack. But then again, there's so many characters that have I Deems. Like Icarus has it. Uh, Gladiator has it. Uh, who else has it? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Got too ahead of myself there. I'm like, oh yeah, we can tag. Uh, no, you cannot, boy. You can tag one. Anyways, let me go ahead and just kind of figured out this pattern once you figure it out it becomes so easy to see not really see but predict because i still can't necessarily see but then again i'm legally blind <laughs> legally it'll be interesting to see how venom Ooh, hold up hold up let me out of this how venom compares to my gladiator and my dr octopus because spoiler alert there's a reason I didn't show you guys the build at the beginning, but uh, Venom has the worst build out of anyone. Like, he literally has the worst build. Not because he's a bad character, but just because... Hold on. I, I can tank this. But because um, he's not quote-unquote meta. Doc Lock is meta for ABX and ABL. 
Um, this guy is meta for ABL. Venom is not really meta, but let's go. All right, let's get it. Let's see what the deck is cooking. Go ahead and just toss out the awakened skill. We'll probably get it back, and if we don't, we shouldn't need it anyways. Yeah, stupid blade twister. Just trying to get to the tier four. Once we get the tier four popping, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be juice. All right, there we go. Tier four popping. That boy gets busy. Let's get down here because he's kind of slow in terms of his movement speed. Boom. 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 Yeah, my boy is putting in that work, 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 work. <laughs> yes, sir. Nah, he's so good for this, bro. Hands down, one of the best. Especially since, even though he's slow, Black Swan gives you enough time to predict her moves. The only annoyance is the Blade Twister because it can catch you and it will catch you quite often. And that's, that's literally the only annoyance. I guess his healing could be better, but you can see, bro, he is putting out some real good damage. Look at that juice. Okay. Put this girl in a... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was me being greedy. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, he's not a tank, but he's a DPS monster, especially for this. Yeah, let's go. Boom. 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 Okay. Go ahead and uh, toss that out. Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just give you that work. <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, Doc Ock, I think his stock's gone up with this new World Boss Legend stage. I ain't going to hold you. All right, let's go, my boy. Notice I'm not using them with any leaderships. I could easily give them like hoax leadership for 30% physical attack or even gladiator's leadership for 60%, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let them rock out using their base kit and uh, show you what's popping. Yeah, I knew that. Do that. My boy Venom eating. Eating good. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. 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 I'll move around and uh, pick up these right quick so I have the tier three. Ooh, tier three ready again. Let's see the blade twister is not disrespectful, bro. Okay. This girl just keeps moving. Uh -oh. Who's giving you permission to move, bro? Like, just stay there, stand there, and take it. See you know what I'm saying? Like, stop moving around. Let's get this work. Okay. Come here. Okay. Now, oh, stupid. It was this spawning. Come here. Really? She didn't break? Okay, what well, is it like? Chill. Like, chill, mommy, chill. Alright. 
Easy, easy, easy. Scroll. I could try to be cheeky and get some damage off on her here because Venom has that built in heal for his uniform and he has extra heal from like his, uh, what you call it, his tier 4 and whatnot. So survival ability isn't really an issue. So I, I guess I could be a little bit more aggressive. Like, see, like, yeah, I was playing too passively. Like, my boy eat that thing like it's some groceries, dog. Like, you don't need it cooked, bro. You eat it raw. <laughs> raw, raw. Raw. <laughs> so, yeah, Venom's actually really good. And especially when you consider the fact that um, I don't have him built as well as the other guys. Like, just let me just show you guys instead of telling you, okay? So, Dr. Octopus, 20 Odin's Blessings, Mighty CTP of Rage, okay? Artifact. Fully Awakened set, uh, Type 5. I think I have everybody at Type 5, okay? Uniform, Mythic, obviously. All of my uniforms, every single one of them, Mythic, okay? So, Mighty Rage. Obviously don't have his artifact yet. Then, Fully Awakened, Type 5, Skills, 20 oldest Blessings. Then we come to Venom. Not meta. So, as you can see, I have the Bare Bones. Now, obviously, all of his stats are still capped. All of those other guys' stats are capped too, right? But, Bare Bones, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you have his artifact because it's been around for so long. I think I got it for free from uh, Collector's Vault. And then we got a Mighty Rage. So, yeah. In terms of the Odin's Blessings, those guys have him beat. So, if he was maxed out, he probably would be clearing it as fast as them, if not faster. I think the most disappointing one throughout this whole thing for me is Gladiator. Considering he has a 60% attack leadership, right? He should have, like, dwarfed these guys. And he's tier 2 native. But... Dr. Octopus looked like the most impressive one to me. Anyways, considering the cost and everything, right? But y'all let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'm gone. Peace.